Rub up your engines! All right, what do people say about Toyota Priuses? They're ugly and slow. Well, they did them over in 2023, as I'm gonna show you with this model, and it might change your mind a little. Now, there's no way you can call this thing ugly. It is a sharp-looking car. Okay, the old ones are ugly. They're not doing that, but look. I mean, there's the ugly one. Just look at this. I mean, it really made them sharp-looking. Okay, so they're not ugly. Well, slow, okay. Last year's model, 2022, granted, it only had like 121 horsepower. Yeah, you know, it's electric horsepower partly, so the torque is a little bit different, but this isn't 121 horsepower. This is an all-wheel drive version. It's 196 horsepower. It is almost 200 horsepower. We'll find out when we drive it around. But through the miracle of Toyota engineering, he can get 48 miles a gallon on the highway and even better in town. So. They figured out how to get more horsepower and still get great gas mileage. And if you know anything about Toyota Priuses, they've been making these things over 20 years. If anybody has hybrid cars down, it's Toyota. Eventually things go bad, of course, the batteries will wear out. From my experience with the Priuses, the earliest I ever saw a Prius battery go out was like 225,000 miles. You can't really argue with that, right? And I've seen them go further, plus there's so many of them out there, you can get aftermarket batteries that are a lot cheaper if it does finally go out. And for example, this one's got a 10-year warranty on the battery. Most things you're not getting a 10-year warranty on, right? Toyota pretty much knows what they're doing when they make hybrid cars. That's why they made the smart bet. They put their money in hybrids. Now all these companies, GM, Ford, that are throwing billions into electric cars, well, they're all kind of scratching their heads now going, oh gee, just the other day, almost 50% of the Ford dealerships said we are not going to sell electric cars they don't want to sell them because they got to invest over half a million bucks at each dealership right and a bunch of car companies are doing that first they said please don't send any more electric cars until we sell the ones we have because nobody wants them and now they're saying please don't ever send us any electric cars we don't want to sell them well guess what these things are selling like hotcakes and of course you're talking about toyota hybrids you're not talking about ford gm chrysler hybrids which i do have to say personally from my experience we're working on them are often rolling piles of junk. These things aren't rolling piles of junk. So not are you getting a better vehicle, one that's been made for over two decades, you've got Toyota quality instead of really iffy GM or Ford or Chrysler quality. Well, the owner just told me before this, he had a Ford Escape Hybrid. The engine was knocking on him. I mean, I'm not making this stuff up, you know? I mean, I'm just telling you the truth about cars and I just have to laugh because I'm not buying them other people and he's even laughing because he got rid of the stupid thing right and bought something that odds are is not going to fall apart like that ford did the atkinson cycle engine in this case it's a two liter engine so it's a decent sized engine and some more horsepower and it's got the usual hybrid electric system hooked up to it to give it boost to regenerate energy it's a dual cooling systems one for the electric system one for the engine and as you can see it is the modern version one of the reasons it gets the better gas mileage is it's got a high pressure fuel pump so this thing has interestingly enough regular fuel injection system and a high pressure fuel system so we'll take a look inside let's do the door Nice solid door. Here we go. Now we got the key. We'll turn it on. Here comes the main screen. And look, the main screen's better designed. It's not blocking anything. It's big enough, but it's low enough that it doesn't block anything at all. Show the energy flow, everything you want. Now, it's got this nice full carbon fiber. That looks nice. And look, I like it because it's like a regular car. Anybody can do it. And you can run in EV mode too if you want. Of course, by law, it's got to make a sound. There's the sound. Now, for the life of me, I don't understand why they don't have a universal sound. This is different than other cars. You're going to have to memorize every car and every noise that it makes because they all make different noises. A regular car sounds like a motor, right? You know, it's a car. But all these things make so many different noises, you're going to have to memorize which car makes which noise. Is that a car? Is that a guy with a stereo going? What is it? Hey, I mean, if they're going to have electric type cars, they should at least standardize the noise that they make. And certainly not have it custom 
customizable for you, the driver. I mean, what, you're going to have it play Van Halen Panama or something? But I like some of the crazy electric cars. Check this out. It's got a regular dash, too. So you're used to driving with a regular car. You're looking at what you normally see. This is extra here. You don't have to look over there. You can look here, and you're not being distracted by having to look over here. You're looking right in front like you normally do. And being hybrid's got all kinds of electric supplies to it. You can turn the traction control off if you want. Of course, it's an electric car, so it's got electric parking brake, too. I mean, that's just the way it's going to go. Fancy version, so it's got a sunroof, and as you can see in the back, the back seats have a reasonable amount of space. And look, the back looks cool now. It's no longer an ugly car, like I said before. He says he's got a lot of crap in here. Boy, he must be pretty anal, because it looks clean to me. I don't know what he's talking about. You got a reasonable size here, and of course, when you flip them down, it's basically like a hatchback. You can fit a lot of stuff into if you need to. It's pretty sharp looking. I mean, it's really got something going for it. Let's take it for a spin. Nice, wide panoramic backup camera. You can see quite well, because to me, it sounds like a regular car where something's falling apart. I would have made a, a different sound myself, but hey, beggars can't be choosers, right? We're just road testing it. Of course, it's super quiet because it's hybrid. Now the motor kicked in, and it's not particularly loud. They definitely improved the handling, too. We'll go too fast around this curb, and hey, there's no tire squealing or anything. It just handles like a dream. We're going to take it to our little drag strip and see what this 196 horsepower can do. That went over 30, and what did it do? It turned orange. Let's check that out again. See, now it's orange. It's warning me I'm driving too fast. I don't know if I like that, though. Here we go to our little drag strip. And we'll see what this 196 horsepower can do. Nobody to the left, nobody to the right. Here we go. We'll get up to the top of the hill. Now, I realize, of course, it still has an electronic CVT transmission. I'm not a big fan of that, but, of course, all the Priuses are that way. They've always been that way. They've always been CVT. They're electronic CVTs, which are a lot more sophisticated, but they're still CVTs. So, there's nobody behind us. Let's give it the gas and see what happens. It's not the old slow Prius. You can see, gets up and going. We are going 62 pretty quick. Not a race car, but I mean, hey. And let's say you're going 50 or so, and you got to pass somebody with Ford. It's picking up pretty quick, as you can see. It's not like the old Priuses. I got to say, there's very little wind noise in this thing. It's pretty quiet. The old ones tended to be pretty noisy. When I road tested the old Priuses, my wife took one to a trip to Galveston. She hated it. She said, don't get me one of those. They're too noisy. She would not complain about this. It's much quieter. She's warning us, we're going over the speed limit. No one knows why the speed limit on this road is 35. It's a straight road to nowhere. It's not the restricted view that Priuses used to have. They've got a better window system than they used to have. That's for sure. I don't see any particular blind spots. It's better design than the old one. It, whee! Hey, it started to burn a little rubber there before the traction control took over. So definitely not the old slow, ugly Prius by any stretch of the imagination. Now, if only they could build one with a regular automatic transmission with gears or a manual transmission, then this thing would be a real screamer. But I doubt if they'll ever do that because they're pretty tied into this electronic CVT design. But now I know why I don't like that noise. Because it sounds like a worn out wheel bearing rotating. I don't like it. As a mechanic, it annoys me. It makes me think the wheel bearings are worn out. I would have picked a different sound. A Toyota Prius that is not ugly and is not slow. And the only thing bad I got to say is I don't like the sound it makes when it's running on electricity because to me, it sounds like a wheel bearing going bad. And that destroys my mechanic's peace of mind. I would have rather had something like, uh, I'm not a Hyundai fan, but their electric cars kind of hum like a bunch of angels. That's okay. This sounds too much like a wheel bearing going bad. I would change that sound. But other than that, phenomenal gas mileage, beautiful looking car. Hey, you want to get a hybrid. This is the baby of all hybrids. And now it's grown up. It isn't a baby anymore, but it still gets phenomenal gas mileage. Probably will run forever. Only now it rides better, has more horsepower and it really looks good. It's not like those old, ugly ones. They finally 
join the 21st century, put some style into it, and hey, I can guarantee you, they're gonna be selling the heck out of these things. People are gonna go more and more towards hybrids as even American car manufacturers are realizing, uh-oh, People don't want to buy these all-electric cars. Let's start making hybrids. But then, of course, Ford. Then they find out, oh, gee, we can't get enough hybrid batteries for our Mavericks. We're making in Mexico. And originally, the standard Maverick was made in Mexico with a hybrid system. Now it's an option because they couldn't get enough batteries. So they're making more of them non-hybrid because they couldn't have enough batteries. But that's typical for Ford. Farley, they should have fired him years ago. Find somebody who really knows how to manage business. Toyota knows how to manage business and this is what they have. Years of refining instead of years of, how can we make it cheaper? I got an idea. Let's make them in Mexico instead of the United States. Well, made Japan, that's what you want. <laughs> he had to call all around to get it at MSRP, but he did, so he paid like 36,000 bucks for this car. That's 10 grand cheaper than the average car. And this is not an average car by any stretch of the imagination. Some people hate hybrids, some people love them. If you're thinking about it, my advice is road test one of these first. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.